Good morning to Connick. I'm Matt Garrity. And I'm Owen Bonney. And, and this, this is, is the Connick TV. Today is Friday, December 17th, and just as always, we have a fantastic show lined up for you all today. That's right, Owen. First, just as always, we have Jack and Anthony with the main news. Then, we bring it over to the one and only Matty Gage with a report from the field of the Italian Club. And then to wrap up the show, we have Mr. Wojcik with today's weather. But before we get started, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thanks, guys. This week has been the first half of Spirit Week, and the next half is next week, which is also the last three days of school before break. And if you haven't seen outside the door of the studio, it's decorated with a green screen. And what we found out is a lot of people don't know how green screens work. So we have Matt here to tell you more about them. Hey, what's up, Taconic? I'm Matt Garrity. And, you know, um, on this episode of Taconic TV, I'm going to be telling you guys what green screens are. Green screens are a screen where we put, uh, where we put it behind someone, and we can display an image behind them. And um, you might be wondering, why are green screens green? Why can't they be blue? Why can't they be red? Well, there are such things as a blue screen, but they're, they're mainly used for like big movies like Avengers Endgame, for instance. But uh, the reason they're green is because, as you can see, there's no green pigment on our skins. And so that means an image won't, like, my, body, my arm won't get cut off by an image that we put behind here. And so, but then, if I switch to this camera right here, you now see the studio um, that, we, that we record in. Um, as you can see, you can see the cameras, uh, you can see me, of course, and then uh, you can see like these, uh, you can see the news desk, and you can see this technical equipment up here, which are the lights. So this is what we see when we record a typical Kong TV episode. And now, when I switch back to this camera, if I edit it right, um, you should now see me back on the green screen. So basically, I can do this with a green screen. I can put a picture of our school. And now I'm in front of our school. Well, in front of our school. And then I can put my Minecraft Taconic up right now, as you can see. Or I can put a nice picture of, you know, the Avengers. Because I'm a big, big Avengers fan. A big Marvel fan. Because I'm a nerd. Anyway. Um, but yeah, this gives you a little insight of some behind the scenes of Taconic TV. Uh, watch out for um, our next episode next week, which we might have a behind-the-scenes episode. We might, we might not. Um, depends on what we get um, done and what we get time to do. But um, hope you guys enjoyed this little segment. Now let's head back to the studio. Well, actually, we're in the studio. You know what I mean. Have a good one, Taconic. Thanks, Matt. There's also a swim meet against PHS today, as well as a boys basketball game against Westfield High at Westfield. JV is at 5.30, and Varsity is at 7. In addition to sports, for this holiday season, horticulture has made and is selling reefs. To tell you more about that, we Mr. Callahan. On to you. Good morning, everybody. This is uh, Mr. Callahan from uh, the horticulture department. Um, I just wanted to let everybody know that we'll be doing a uh, holiday wreath and centerpiece sale Friday the 17th. Um, it's a kind of first come, first serve. When they're gone, they're gone. We've been making them this, uh, this past week, and then we'll be making them next week as well. If you have any questions, just stop over, ask one of the horticulture students, or uh, email me at uh, bcallahan at pittsfield.net. Thank you. Thanks, Mr. Callahan. And for you this week, we also have next week's lunches, brought to you by Alex. On to you. Hey, it's Alex. I'm back with the lunch, and let's see what I have for this week. On Monday, we'll have barbecue riblet sandwiches with baked potato wedges. On Tuesday, we'll have jumbo hot dogs with baked beans and coleslaw. On Wednesday, we'll have assorted sandwiches and subs with lettuce, tomato, and pickle. The sides will be cucumber and dill salad and baked potato chips. I hope everyone has a great holiday break. Thanks, guys. We also have Maddie Gage on the Snow Taconic Italian Club. On to you, Maddie. 
Hi everyone, I'm Maddie Gage and I'm currently on the scene of Taconic's Italian Club. I'm here today interviewing the lovely Rune, the student runner. So I have some questions for you. What are some types of things that you do in Italian Club? Well, typically we just listen to like Italian music or we watch Italian films. Lately we've been watching Luca and we will be finishing it in our next week's session. But yeah, we just, we usually eat Italian snacks and we listen to Italian music and watch movies and just kind of chill and chat. I love that, especially the snacks part. And also, what are like your favorite parts of Italian club? And as the student runner, what are some responsibilities that you take on as well? For, let's see, my favorite parts, well, I have two. First, the snacks, obviously. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then uh, I really like seeing all of the different people that join because every week we always have new people. And it's very interesting to see all of the different types of students that want to join the club. And for being a student runner, it's really not that much. I have to go to the planning meetings. I have to schedule the announcements on our Canvas page. I basically have to like spread awareness that uh, we have the club and stuff and what we do, but it's really not any different than being a club member. I just have to get it out there more and just remind people, really, and make sure there's like stuff to do. Yeah, that's awesome. And lastly, if anyone out there wants to join Italian Club, what would you tell them? And if so, when can they join? Well, I would say that everyone is always welcome here at the Italian Club because we're very open here and if you ever need to talk, we have myself and the teacher here who are more than willing to to talk with you. But if you want to join, we typically do it every other Tuesday at 2.30 to 3.15 in room D205. But this week was a little weird because of last week, but we should be having a more consistent every other week schedule. So. Yeah, just keep an eye out for the Canvas page or the daily announcements. Thank you so much, Rune. This has been awesome. Now, let's head back to the studio. Thanks, Maddie. Before we end off the show, here's Mr. Wojcik with the weather. Hi, thanks, guys, and welcome to Wojcik's weather. Uh, let's get into the national weather map. You can see here a lot of high pressure out in the west with uh, snowfall accumulations out in the Rockies. Um, a lot of that is um, staying out that way. Our next weather maker for this weekend, mostly Saturday all day, is going to be this low. And that low is going to move up and come through um, during the day on a Saturday. And my anticipation is we are going to have some accumulating snow. The jury's out right now on how much we will get, but I, I believe we will be getting some. So just looking at some of the temps right now, a little above uh, normal for this time of year. Everybody's in the 40s, Pittsfield 44, North Adams 45. Um, even up, you know, you look up state New York, Glens Falls 44. And even the national map, uh, you know, spreading out Albany 48, 54 down in New York City, 54 in Boston. That's probably a good 10, 15, almost 20 degrees higher than the average temps for this time of year. But that's going to be changing very quickly. So looking at the radar, uh, as I mentioned, uh, this is what came through yesterday. And... The low is forming out here in the plains, and that's going to move up and come through for pretty much the whole day Saturday. So if you have plans, holiday plans this weekend, shopping, going out, doing different things, I would maybe look towards Sunday for that. Might be some messy driving around Saturday as that snow is going to be on and off all day, and the temps are going to drop. So it's going to be cold enough for some of it to be sticking on the roadways and ground. So looking ahead, uh, you know, today uh, we've st we're still up in the 50s. That's going to change overnight. You can see that drop quickly. Um, low into the 30s, probably the high tomorrow, 38. So it's a snow uh, rain mix. But where that boundary is going to be, um, it's hard to tell right now, so if it's further south, we're going to get more snow. If the warm uh, weather pushes up um, into our area, we'll get more of a mix. But I definitely think in some of the mountains 
and getting up into Vermont, you're going to see some significant uh, snowfall up there. And then heading out the rest of the weekend, more seasonable, 35 on Sunday, some sun and uh, flurries, uh, sunny Monday. Uh, the winter solace starts on Tuesday, so the first day of winter comes Tuesday, but that's our shortest day of the year as far as daylight. So after Tuesday, we will start a minute or two a day heading out, start seeing more daylight, and then sun and clouds on Wednesday. So pretty seasonable next week, overnight lows, teens and 20s. Um, during the day, you'll see the highs into the low and mid 30s. And I just wanted to mention, so it's interesting, you know, a lot of stuff has happened during COVID. Um, one of the things um, we're dealing with now, it's happened a few months ago in Windsor, was that our uh, garbage men um, who pick up the garbage are all now working from home. So I wasn't really sure what to do, so I called the town supervisor and I asked, you know, <clears throat> what's going on? What, you know, these guys are working from home. What, what should I do with the garbage? And he's like, I don't know. He's like, uh, bring it to their house. So, so that's what I started doing. I, I thought because of the holidays, I put a little bow on mine when I dropped mine off there, but, um, yeah, that's what we're doing now. So you guys have a great great weekend. Uh, enjoy your shopping. Enjoy the snow for those snowbirds. And back to you guys. Thanks, Mr. Wojcik. We hope everyone enjoyed this show this morning. Just as always, if you have any news you would like to report to us, please send us an email at TeconicTV at Pittsfield.net. We'll be checking that email daily, so don't be afraid to send us a quick email. One last thing before we end off the show. For any freshmen who RSVP'd for the Gingerbread Building Contest, that will take place today and will go on from 2.45 to 3.30 in the CAF. You know, Matt, I would love to be able to build gingerbread houses myself, but they always just keep collapsing on me. <sighs> well, that's just how the cookie crumbles, Owen. Well, anyways, I want to give a huge shout out to Tristan Scully for helping me with my green screen segment for today. Remember to always take responsibility, have respect, and strive for excellence. Make sure to tune in next Wednesday for the Taconic TV Holiday Special, a.k.a. our last show for the year 2021. Other than that, have a great day, Taconic.